Well, and the Great Lakes Showcase is one of the most popular yearly art showcases that celebrates local and regional artists. Now, I know Ashley Kirkland is at the Rose Center this morning and uh, has more on what's going to happen. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. It's always a great fun event to come down and see or come up and see up in Houghton at the Rose Center. This is a month long showcase. It's a juried art showcase of artists, like you said, from around the UP regional and the Midwest regional and local artists. Great arts. Now they're going to be judged off of there's two categories, 2D. 2D and 3D, and there's also Best in Show, and that uh, c that will be told at the end of the month. Now, it ends March 31st. We're going to talk to the coordinator about some of the pieces that are here inside the Rose Center, and we'll get to view a lot of them. I'll take it back to you for now, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in Houghton, TV6 News. Ashley? Good morning, Vicki. I hope I look the right color right now after you guys' trick there in the studio. <laughs> Well, the jury is already in on this exhibit. They were judged actually last night, but there's still an award that's um, up for vote that's the Com Best in Community Award, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Right now, I'm here with coordinator Sarah um, Scarlett. Sarah, thanks so much for being here this morning. Now, you guys have different categories for this. What are the different categories, and what are some of the winners that have already taken place? Yeah, we, uh, our judge comes and judges in a two-dimensional category for things on the walls and also three-dimensional category for objects and sculpture. Uh, and there's a, a best in show that can be either, but then there's first and second place in two-dimensional and three-dimensional and several honorable mentions. Great. And last night was opening night for the Great Lakes Showcase. How was the reception here inside the Rosé Center? It was great. We had um, about 100 people here, and it's so nice to see artists and art enthusiasts coming together in a, on a winter night, talking about the way they make things and the way they see things. Mm -hmm. It was wonderful. And you guys have a little bit over 60 artists inside this uh, showcase this year. Now, this is an honorable mention. Talk to us about this piece from Michael Friend. It's called Bruce Wayne. Yeah, it's this great, I think it's this great comment on uh, painstaking handwork in the digital age. He covers this, these two panels of giant canvas with uh, hundreds of dots in various layers and different colors to get this illusion of uh, abstract shapes, but it looks very different from far away than it does from up close. It's pretty startling. Yeah, and you say that underneath all the color dots, he actually colors it with black dots. That de does that give it a different effect? Yeah, you get a real sort of um, layered effect. And when you get up close, you realize how much work has gone into creating this illusion. Yeah. And I guess it's called, why is it called Bruce Wayne? <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> well, we asked him and he said, well, it kind of looks like a bat sign. And I wanted something that would be, <laughs> that would catch people's imagination. Awesome. So maybe the top is Bruce Wayne and the bottom is Batman. <laughs> so what are some other ones that um, people would look forward to seeing when they come down here? Yeah, sure. I mean, the artists here are from all over the region, a lot from the UP, but a lot from uh, the broader region as well. The Best in Show uh, Award winner is a watercolor painting by a man named Peter Jablikow, which is a beautiful view of the Quincy Dredge here in the Copper Country in the winter. So. Yeah, that was actually one of my favorite we'll show later. He's from Chicago, actually, and how did he know about that, that sighting? Yeah, he spends summers up here, um, although this picture is one from the winter, so he must make winter visits, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> well, that's cool because the artists really have a love and affinity for the UP. Now, there's that chair over there that might look familiar for some people. Why is that? Yeah, this is by a man named Dave Stimak, and I've heard that you've visited his shop in Alberta several times. He yeah. does these wonderful things in bird's eye maple. And this is a giant chair uh, that he... Um, has created to be reminiscent of a Harley Davidson. That's a, an oil pan underneath it there to you know, catch the oil from the <laughs> engine. Yeah, we know about that chair. We have, we have, as you said, been there. We're going to come back and uh, talk about some of the other artists and some of the other pieces of work that they have here, as well as that community award. I'll take it back to you, Vicki. Ashley Kirkland reporting live in. Welcome back. Well, if you need a reason to get up to the Copper Country, you can choose from the Copper Dog 150 free curling, or you can check out the Great Lakes Showcase at the Rose Gallery in Houghton. Ashley Kirkland is live from the gallery with a peek at what you may see. Ashley? Good morning, Sam. That's right. There's so much to see here at the gallery. And right now I'm here with the coordinator of the Great Lakes um, Showcase. S sorry, Scar Miss Scarlett. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, Sarah. I'm sorry. Having a brain fart there. Okay, so this is, you said these have already been judged and this is the best in show. Talk to us about this piece that we see here. 
Yeah, sure. This is a watercolor painting by Peter Jablokow, um of the Quincy Dredge, which is sort of a local landmark of a um, leftover piece of industrial equipment from the copper mining days here. Um, and what seems so amazing about this painting is he has uh, been able to see so much color in a, a rusty piece of equipment and has really brought this to life in a new way. And these um, prizes are not just another feather in their cap. They actually come with cash behind them. What, what's the prize that the, the fir first, third, and second place winners get? Sure. Um, yes, the prizes, the, the best in show is a cash prize of $1,000, okay. which is really quite a substantial prize. Yeah. Um, and we're lucky that our top prizes are sponsored by the university president, provost, and uh, dean of the College of Sciences and Arts, so we thank them very much. Awesome. That's pretty good for the artists. And over here, we also have one of the 3D pieces that you guys have, and it's actually, it looks like a bird mobile, but it also doubles as something else. Talk to us about this one. Yeah, this is called Flight Chess by an artist named Emily Allison. So it's set up to be a chess game between sets of birds. They're ceramic birds um, and one team, so to speak, I guess, <laughs> is real birds versus kind of robotic steampunk birds. And so they're attached with magnets at the top. So ideally you could actually play chess with these birds. But obviously you can't touch the items right. in here. <laughs> yeah, please don't touch. They're fragile. Thank okay. you. Yeah. And now when people see these items and they think, maybe I want to have that on my wall, can they purchase the items? Yes. Um, people can make purchases either here at Michigan Tech or online. Um, you can also use that online website to view artwork before you come or afterwards if you want to get more information. You should be able to just search Google for the Great Lakes Showcase. You'll be able to find it. Awesome. And this exhibit will be here through uh, March 31st. The Community Award, can people vote on that until the end of the exhibit? Yes, absolutely. If you come to the gallery, please do remember to uh, vote for the Community Choice Award, and that uh, prize is also a $150 cash prize that will be given out right at the end of the show, and we'll announce the winner on our website. Awesome, and that's right outside of the exhibit. There's a fishbowl that you can place your vote into. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. This is a wonderful exhibit every year. Hope you guys have a lot of success with it. Stick around for more of your TV6 Morning News.